Now to our series, American Worker, and a closer look at Amazon's warehouses. An effort to unionize workers at one failed in Alabama yesterday. And Amazon has not been slowing down, going on a massive hiring spree. Stephanie Rule with how the company may be changing the face of work permanently. Inside this Amazon warehouse, thousands of robots move millions of items in an elaborate dance. We pick out the items that are ready to be shipped out for the customers that have ordered. Alongside more than 2,500 workers who sort, pack, and ship hundreds of thousands of items every day. Carlos Linares started last summer after he was laid off from his job at a hotel. I don't think I'm going to go back at the hospitality, and I feel more appreciated out here. A year after she lost her restaurant job, Enli Gramajo is now a robotics tech. If your old job called you today and said, come back, would you go back? I wouldn't. No. Amazon and companies like it employ millions of people in facilities like this across the country, and they're hiring more every day. Last year alone, jobs at warehouse centers like this grew by 10 percent. Compare that to restaurant jobs, down 20 percent. And a record 12,000-plus retail stores shuttered. In fact, Amazon is now buying and converting old malls into warehouses. But not everyone thinks this massive workforce realignment is good. I haven't been respecting our 20-minute our pay breaks. They're just always, you know, cutting a minute here, cutting a minute there. Christian Zamoran works at an Amazon facility in Chicago. He says he was forced onto an overnight shift and has yet to receive additional pay. They view us like numbers, um, where we're, we're, we're not humans to them. You're monitored all day, literally. It can definitely take a toll on your mental health. Derek Palmer, an Amazon employee of five years, says he feels his job is in jeopardy every single day. It doesn't matter if you're using the restroom, if you're getting water, if you're injured. Time spent away from your station can cause you ultimately to lose your job. Complaints like that led to the failed effort to unionize in Alabama and occasional walkouts. Amazon says it pays a minimum of $15 an hour, twice the federal minimum wage, and that health and safety of its employees are a priority. We make sure there's ample time for breaks, lunches, restroom, people to take time to do what they need to, to make sure they feel good about work. The demand for these jobs isn't slowing, and many aren't looking back. Do you consider this a short-term job? At first, it was going to be a short-term job, but I have realized that I could actually have growth here. Stephanie Rule, NBC News, Carteret, New Jersey.